If you want to format your controls like the ones that we created in the previous training video, like the text box here for the purchase price, so for example, you can see that it doesn't have it in currency, as well as it's got a thin line around the box. Well, I want to put it in currency, and let's get rid of that border here for each cell. To do that, let's go ahead and right click on the tab, go to the design view, and let's come over here to the purchase price, click on it, and let's bring up its property sheets. We can do that by double clicking on the border, brings it up, and then just below the control source on the all tab, I mean there's our expression, we got the format. Click in that field, and you get a drop down arrow, click on it, and hey, look at that. We can go to, well, do you want to do the euro? Nah, let's go currency. And if you can't see the other side of it, of course you can scroll, or better yet, you can just hover over the edge of your property sheet and click and drag it to stretch it out more so. So when you click on the drop down arrow, you can see more of it here. The two columns without scrolling, that is. And so we'll go with currency. Select that. And before we go ahead and take a look at that to see if it actually accepted it, what about that border? Let's come down here to the border style. Instead of it being solid, how about if we click in there and change it to transparent? Ooh, I like that. And let's go ahead and close out of here. And let's go ahead and right click, go to print preview, and scroll over. Hey, no border, isn't that nice? And it's also in currency. Okay, I'm sold. Okay, one more thing I want to show you. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the report and scroll over. And we've got that long date. Remember, the long date, well, let me right click and go back to the design view, is coming from the now function. And so that's bringing in today's date. But what if I want a short date? I don't want the day of the week and then also the date. How about, well, let's see what's available. To find out, go ahead and select it. And by the way, all I did when I created this date is I just came up here on the design tab to the controls group, clicked on controls, clicked on the text box, came down here and clicked to add the unbound text box and well I selected the label, deleted that because when it comes to identifying the date or labeling it, well when I see a date I know it's a date. I don't need a label that tells me that I'm looking at the date. So I deleted the label and then I just came in the unbound text box and I typed in equals now. Open, close parentheses, hit enter, and that's all I did. And of course, you can learn about that and all the fun functions that can probably be of help to you in Access and all these different fancy formulas and stuff by watching my Excel training videos on functions and formulas. So with this selected, let me hit the delete key so we can just go with what we got here. So select that, and then we need to bring up its property sheet so we can see what different formats are available, hopefully something in the short date arena. And to do that, you can right click on the border and go to properties brings up the property sheet for this and you can see the control source is that function the now and hey there you go that's the problem the format is long oh that's too long go ahead and click in it click on the drop down arrow you can do something medium or hey how about the time that's kind of timely and you can do short time except that looks like it's military time I have to use my fingers once it gets past high noon so we won't do that how about if we just go ahead and do short date? And before we go ahead and check that out, let me close out of here because something else that I want to show you is that, well, look at that text box. I mean, that's long. The date's probably just somewhere over here taking up that much space. So what you can do is with it selected, you see these little handles around it? Well, those are called resizing handles that when you hover over one, you get arrows pointing, in this case, up and down for the top middle resizing handle allows you to go up and down. Well, when I start moving up or down or left or right, take a look down below over here where it says design view on the status bar and watch what happens. Let me do it from the right middle resizing handle. When I click on it and I just hold it, you see what comes up? It says it has a total of one line that it takes up with a total of 42 characters in that. Well, I don't think my date's going to take up 42 characters, so let me push it in. And as I push it in, it shrinks down to, you see how I can identify how many characters? Like maybe 20 characters? Cool. Now you can do it that way, or one big advantage of the layout view is that when I right-click and go to the layout view, and I scroll down to the bottom, and I click in that field, is that I can actually see it. So when I get close to it, I know when to stop. 
well, except this is a single digit month, but I can imagine when we get to October with an extra digit that I don't want to get too close, so it cuts it off at the end there for 2017. But in the layout view, you can do the same thing. Just hover over the border. You don't get resizing handles. The whole side of the cell is a resize. So you can click and drag down. And then look at that. Down in the status bar, it says that will now take up two lines. So if I had a lot of text, it can wrap around and go to the second line instead of being cut off over to the right-hand side, right? And I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and hit undo. Or I could have clicked and dragged that up. But let's do it over here now on the far right hand side until I can see arrows pointing in opposite directions. Click and drag that in and right about there maybe. So you can see the total number of characters down in the status bar is 9 when I let go. It should give me enough space when we hit the month of October and we get double digits for the month that we'll still see the end of 7 in 2017. And then of course the final test is to go to the print preview because what you see in there is what's going to be coming out of your printer. So right click in a blank area, go to print preview. Oh, that looks nice. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.